So this is just a very quick video that I want to try to tell you how to make your scene mode better and smoother, especially smoother. Uh, I think that many of you have experienced a problem that the new scene mode on your Mavic Air 2 and 2S is just too fast. It is like 5 meters per second and uh, that is just way too fast for like precision flight um so with this issue in mind and i've seen quite a few videos and uh, some of them are trying to teach you how to modify your stick and that is a great approach i think and uh, the other approach is to wait or use pinch method but um because my hand is quite small so i'm not really used to the pinch method so i try to tweak the params of the DJI drone. So basically you need two software tools. The first one is the DJI Assistant 2. And you have to download the specified version for your drone because they use different version of softwares. For Mavic Air 2, you have to use the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. And for the Air 2S and Mini SE and Mini 2, you need to use the DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drone series. This is very important, so don't mess up the two. And then you need to get the DroneHacks desktop application. You need to register a free account for the application. And you don't need to pay anything for them, just register an account. And this is fully reversible and it won't void your warranty, so no worries. So basically the first thing that you need to do is open up the application and then connect your drone. Then it will be connected um, pretty much instantly and then go for the hack parameters here. <clears throat> oh, remember to log in from here, otherwise it won't be usable. Then you can export your parameters here to save a profile of your current settings and then go for advanced parameters. First, we can export first. So this is just a backup file, so mm, keep it safe, okay? Then save it. Then you can use the advanced parameters here, which is here. Yeah. Now it will pop up a window and then you can search for the one that we need to search for. You can search tripod and then you will be getting this one. Search for this exact parameter and turn it down to the absolute minimum. Then save it, click on the, sorry for the tiny button there. There's a save button there. And then write parameter to drone, then it's done. So basically, if you want to check if your settings were saved before you go actual flying, then you can use the DJI Assistant application that we've just downloaded before. And use this application to test your settings because it has a simulator. And yes, I've just connected my drone and selected it. Then use the simulator function here and start the simulating. Once you have started the simulating, you can do whatever you want now. Uh, first, I'm in sport mode to show you the, the sport mode. The simulation is pretty accurate actually. And wait for me to take off. Now I have taken off and you can see the velocities here. Velocity Z means the altitude. So I was flying up at six meters per second. That's the default maximum of the DJI Air 2S. Now I'm going to do some left and right panning. The left panning is 10 meters per second, but or yeah, the panning is about 10 to 11 meters per second. And then 
Let's try if I switch to scene mode. So in scene mode, you can see the velocity is much lower. And now the maximum speed is just 1.5 meters per second. And that's very, very accurate, very um, suitable for precision shots. And I think this is what you want. This is what we've all wanted for the original tripod mode. And I have to admit that this is still, still slightly faster than the original tripod mode, but I mean, this is good enough that we can actually do things on it now. So after you have tasted it out, you can go unplug your drone and go flying. Uh, the settings won't be resetted until you manually do it, so you can keep it as long as you wish, no worries. And uh, if someday you crash your drone, I mean, no, you are not going to crash your drone for flying slower, right? So no worries. And just one more thing, please don't use this method on illegal like illegal modifications because um, there are some params that you can speed up your drone or um, overcome some limitations. But trust me, the limitations put there is good for you and is good for every one of us because there is already enough criticism of the drone community. So uh, I hope that everyone can be safe and clear and have a nice sky. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it and uh, you can fly your, fly your drone like ever before. Thank you.